minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. Shepard has cleared the tower and is heading to space. Godspeed, Titanium Feather. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see that we are gaining speed as New Shepard gains altitude. We started at about 3,700 feet above median sea level, and that's where Launch Site 1 is located. There we've got a great shot of the BE-3 and, of course, of the booster looking down at West Texas. And it looks to have been a successful main engine cutoff with the vehicle traveling at more than 2,000 miles per hour and 200,000 feet of altitude. Our next milestone will be separation of the crew capsule and the booster for zero G. Capcom will momentarily cue the astronauts to unbuckle their harnesses after separation and we'll be listening in. In the meantime, Sarah, Vanessa, Kobe, Mario, Clint, and Steve, welcome to space. Congratulations to all six crew of the Titanium Feather. They just officially became astronauts with an apogee well over 100 kilometers, the internationally recognized boundary line of space. Both the crew capsule and booster are now descending. We saw the forward fins deploy there in the shot on your left as that rocket is now reaching its atmospheric pierce point, returning from space and entering the atmosphere. Great close-up of the BE-3 engine. Engine ignition, engine relay coming in for a landing. Booster touchdown. Welcome back to Earth, New Shepard. For a lot of us at Blue, this moment in flight is one of our proudest moments really showcasing what the BE-3 engine and the New Shepard booster are capable of. Really just incredible engineering. So as we come in here softly for a landing, those landing systems will engage, measuring the height above the ground to fire that innovative retro thrust system that kicks up the dust but makes for a very soft landing. Touchdown, Titanium Feather. Welcome back to Earth. And what a shot of Victoria Canyon, the Sierra Diablos, and our West Texas desert kicking up that poof of dust. I bet they're excited in there. They sounded excited.